Hi, I'm Anthony from Heat Demon. In this video, we're going to install our clamp on heat grips. On this ATV, we will be installing the quad zone controller. We also offer dual zone and high low clamp on heat grip kits. Remove the current grips. Make sure to clean off all dirt and residue from each end of the handlebar. After loosening the grip clamps, slide the grips onto each end of the handlebar. Position each wire exit so it's facing the front of the vehicle. Tighten the grip clamps with an Allen wrench, making sure the grips do not spin on the handlebar. Remove the adhesive liner and apply the thumb warmer directly to the throttle. Slide the heat shrink over the throttle, making sure it completely covers the thumb warmer. Use a heat gun or other heat source to shrink the tubing around the throttle. Use a cable tie to secure the grip and thumb warmer wires. Be sure to provide strain relief so the throttle can open fully. Mount the L-bracket for the controller using an existing 6mm bolt on either control housing. If the stock bolt is not long enough, use the included 6mm bolt. Mount the controller using the included 4mm bolt, flat washer, lock washer, and nut. Use cable ties as necessary to secure all wires to the handlebar. Disconnect the positive and negative leads from the vehicle battery, making sure to disconnect the negative lead first. Use the included red tap connectors to connect the red controller wire to a 12 volt accessory wire and the black controller wire to a ground wire. Insert the three connectors from the grips and thumb warmer to their corresponding connectors on the controller wire harness. Round up excess wire and secure with a cable tie as necessary. Reconnect the battery leads and make sure that the controller LEDs light up with the vehicle on. <laughs> 